Hello everyone, Joseph Gallegos here, Great for Green. We're going to talk about this full installation that we just completed, or actually um, Juan Sandoval's plumbing has completed it. He's um, one of our installers. What we have here is a new sump pump, or tank, and the way that it flows is that the gray water comes through this through gate valve, and right now we have to cut off the sewer system, and it'll flow into this tank. This column right here is what's what we call a vacation valve. Basically, when you're on vacation, there's no gray water being generated from the shower, so this actually will put water into the system while you're away on vacation. And it's set up to a timer up here. Um, over here, that goes back into the house to the gray water system, and those holes will be plugged up. And then this pipe right here goes into the sewer system. So if we turn this handle, we turn off the gray water system now, and it goes flowing into the sewer system. The sewer system has it tied in by four inch. Right here is a check valve. So that way the water flows into the sewer system but can't come back out of it in case of it's, oh, there's an overflow in the sewer. At the same time that right here is a overflow so if the water fills up to a certain point in this filter it'll actually go through this trap and flow through and into the sewer system um, that is nice to have so the pump eventually it'll it'll fail and this will allow the water to flow through until you replace it or until you notice it um, this is your standard clean out of your system and right here is what what I really want to emphasize is that when you're in new construction or even a retrofit, being near the clean out is really important because this way you can tie in your overflow into the sewer system as well as your bypass into the sewer system. It makes it a lot easier for as far as the installation. So this right here is your gray water and this is going this is coming from your showers and your laundry and it's flowing into your three-way valve. The three-way valve and then pours into your filter system or distribution system. The top layer is your filter, and then below that is the sump pump. And from there, it will pump out into this white PVC pipe, and that flows out to the aquifer pipes out in the yard. And they're 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 divided into six different zones. So each zone will have one particular day in which the water flows to, to it. It's a way to distribute the water, but it's non-pressurized, meaning that the water will flow through with pressure, but once it gets to the aquifer pipe, since the emitters are all gravity flow, it'll just disperse into the, into the yard right away. As compared to having pressurized emitters that require pressure consistently. This is more of a dousing, getting the water into the pipe, letting it douse and then wicking up into the area. Thanks for uh, watching the videos. I hope that helps out. I hope the design gives you better ideas of what you should do when you're doing your own retrofit or in a new construction. This is um, how we roll with gray water. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a gray water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.